welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, maybe this is your first time visiting, welcome. I hope you do subscribe and continue visiting my channel. Um, the other day I went mountain biking and I was having such a lovely time. I was riding by myself and I thought, wow, you know, I would love to share this with some of you. So I don't know if you like being on the trails or not, but um, I was super inspired. So I took a little handheld video holding my phone because I certainly didn't have my stuff with me. And I felt inspired to just go with the moment and do it with my phone um, and see how that goes. And so I hope you enjoy my video. It's just a little snippet of the trail. I did not record myself doing the technical stuff because I didn't have any tripods with me and I was riding. So I can only do so much with one hand. Enjoy and we'll see you next time. Fanshawe doing a loop. It's my first loop of the season and um, I debated whether or not to stop and do a little video snippet here and there and uh, I chose my uh, my older bike. It's a Trek bike and uh, it's got 26 inch wheels which is old school these days but I chose it because uh, 26er is more nimble on the trail and it's my first ride of the season and I'm not sure what shape the trail's in. It changes every year so I wanted to check it out. So random thought, um, I recall just as I was starting the uh, the trail today, I went to change from my big ring to my middle ring in the front and I couldn't find couldn't couldn't find the lever. I thought that's odd and then I noticed that the whole shifter is loose on the handlebar and I thought why the heck would that be? Um, so I thought well I really should have brought some tools with me. Um, I thought about it kind of half-assed and ended up not bringing any kind of playing it on the risky side I guess so I'm hoping for anything uh, not so major to happen um, I have nothing with me which is not smart but uh, hey that's the way it goes so I'm just gonna have to um, stay in the middle ring and shift only if I need to but um, whatever I've got my uh, my rear cog set so we're good to go bring your tools that's the lesson so it looks like the creek is pretty low today. I'll be coming from around this way, around to the left, and there we cross the creek. It looks pretty good. So just another random thought um, was about what I'm skipping today in order to be here. Uh, I am skipping karate and uh, that's a biggie to me. Um, I've got my grading coming up and I love it but I also love this and there's not too many perfect days like this. I have been holding off getting on the trails on my bicycle because I've been so focused on that darn motorcycle course. I didn't want to risk any kind of injury so that I wouldn't be able to get it done and now karate is my priority even over biking but um, biking today I'm not taking any risks and uh, I don't want any injuries so that I can't get through my karate grading so everything has a priority but uh, I'm fitting biking in today Yay! so I made it and I made it unscathed no falls no problems with my front derailleur. I still have to tighten it up, but I just kept it in the middle ring and uh, love my bike. I love it, love it. It's on the older side, but I'm going to just keep it going. Just like my car, it's also on the old side, 14 years. But I'm going to keep it going because, you know, they're not making the bug anymore. So, yeah, that's sad, but I'm glad to, uh, glad to have mine. So I'm going to show you um, the end result of how I pack my bike into my car. So this is how I prep my car. I actually take the back seat right out and uh, that's usually how it has stayed for like 14 years. Um, so yeah, I take the back seat out, I put a little protective cover down 
and I put my windshield cover, strap it onto the back of the seat so I don't wreck the back of my seat, right? And then I'm gonna take the front wheel off my bike and uh, I'll put the, uh, the rest of it in. So as you can see, there is no room for a passenger when I'm going biking, and that's why I wanted a uh, a bike rack, but um, that's okay. When I go with a friend, we'll just have to ride from, uh, from home. Um, adds another, I don't know, at least 40 minutes onto the ride. Not a big deal, but it's just a hot ride on asphalt, and that's not much fun, so not much fun. Um, there you go. See ya.